Hello friends, welcome back. In previous video, we have seen the retrosynthesis and the synthesis for the R and S epichlorohydrin by using the chiral precursor that is the D minus. And in this video, we are going to synthesize the R and S epichlorohydrin, but here the starting material is something different that is in this uh, synthesis we use the d glyceraldehyde molecule as a chiral precursor as a, or a starting material so let's start synthesis of r and s epichlorohydrin from the glyceraldehyde so first the r epichlorohydrin here the structure for the glyceraldehyde molecule in first step, we use the acetone in presence of acid and as we know, the acetone and acid when we used for on the diol molecule, there is a protection of this diol and we got this ketal as a product. So, in first step, there is a protection by using the acetone in presence of acid. Then after, there is a reduction by using the sodium borohydride in presence of MUH. So, this aldehydic group can be reduced into the pri primary alcohol and we got here a CH2OH. In next step, there is a protection of this OH into this OTS molecule when we use the tosyl chloride in presence of pyridine. The pyridine is a base, it can easily abstract this hydrogen and this formed O negative can attack over this tosyl chloride and we got in the product that is the OTS this OH is replaced by this OTS molecule that is the protection of this hydrogen by using this tosyl chloride in presence of pyridine. Then after this structure we can write as like this In next step, we use the aqueous H2SO4 and here we have a protected diodes. And when we use the aqueous H2SO4 in presence of ethanol on the protected diol, there is a deprotection of this diol and we got the separate OH-OH groups. In next step, when we use the sodium methoxide is a base, it can abstract this proton and here there is a removal of this OTS negative and we got this type of epoxide. After the formation of this epoxide, here it is a reagent that is a mesethyl chloride in presence of pyridine. Again, the pyridine can abstract this hydrogen and this O negative can attack over the sulfur atom. There is a removal of chloride and we got here the OMS. So, the structure is like this. This epoxide and this OH can be replaced by this OMS. So, in next step, there is a concentrated HCl. Here it is a H positive and the Cl negative. This Cl negative can attack over this carbon atom. There is an opening of this epoxide ring and here the formation of O negative can abstract this proton and here we got a molecule in which there is a Cl and here it is a OH group. In next step, there is a removal of MSOH and we got our desired product that is the epichlorohydrin. Here the, it is a formation of epoxide ring and this is the R epichlorohydrin because if it gives the priority order here it is a first priority to this oxygen then the CH2Cl becomes the second then after this CH2 is third and this hydrogen is fourth. So therefore there is a rotation is like this one, two, three and four. Therefore this is the S but here the hydrogen is above the plane. Therefore, the absolute configuration of this molecule is the R. Hence, we write here the R epichlorohydrin. So, in this synthesis, we starting our synthesis by using the glyceraldehyde molecule rather than the D mannose. So, by using the glyceraldehyde also, we can synthesize the R and S epichlorohydrin. So, here it is a R epichlorohydrin. So, let's see the mechanism for the S epichlorohydrin. Again, we can start the glyceraldehyde molecule. In first step, there is a protection. 
then reduction of this aldehyde into this alcohol then there is a protection of this oh into ots after the formation of tosylated product there is a deprotection of this diol by using the aqueous h2so4 in presence of ethanol then after we use the triphenyl phosphine and the ccl4 this reagent can make this oh into this cl molecule then in presence of sodium ethoxide and muoh there is a removal of this ots group and we got our s ep chlorohydrate here it is a attached over this and this ots leaves the molecule and we got this epoxide and this is the s ep chlorohydrate so this is the mechanism by using the glyceraldehyde molecule so you, we can synthesize the r and sp chlorohydrin either by using the d minus or the glyceraldehyde molecule so both the mechanism we have seen i hope you understand